Hi, Pete Moore, editor of Shooting Sports Magazine. Welcome to Gunmark TV. We have a rifle here I first tested probably six, seven years ago when the 2-2 semi-auto military look-alike phase hit the UK, and it's the ISSC Modern Sporting Rifle. Um, this is a later version of the gun, uh, brought in by Range Right. Uh, the first gun was, I wasn't very impressed, it wasn't that reliable. And though looking the same, uh, I've been shooting it today, and I've had some reasonable results with it, I must say. But essentially, it's a look-alike of the FN Scar rifle, which is their sort of latest assault rifle that you can have in 223, 308 and other calibers. But it's your basic semi-auto. Um, it's typically military. You've got a side folding stock, locks up like this. You've got an adjustable length of pull, which is not all that, it's about probably two or three inches. So even at full extension, it's a little bit short. That's neither here nor there. Uh, unusually for this gun, there's a, an adjustable comb in it. You press that button there, and that flips up, and it gives you a little bit more comb height, but you do need to have a higher mounted scope to make it work. Operation is blowback, standard 2 semi-auto. Uh, interesting thing on the gun is you have three positions on the cocking handle, and it's ambidextrous, so you, you've got forward, middle, and rear, just pull this out, put it back in the next hole down. So if you like it long or short, it's up to you. Personally, I like the cog handle at the front because I'm quite long armed. But you can also take the handle and put it in from the right hand side as well. There's a little minimal case deflector here as such, um, but you can shoot the thing left handed reasonably easily. Controls are very much M16. Magazine release, which is duplicated over here, so you have an ambi catch. Safety catches ambi, and it goes from safe to fire, similar to an M16 AR-15. Last round hold open is um, actuated by the magazine. There's no automatic last round hold open as such, but you can stick your finger up inside when the gun is empty uh, and push the catch up to hold the bolt forward. There's Picatinny rails, full length one here, one on each side and one on the base. Um, today I've fitted a, a foregrip, which I quite like on 2 2 semis, and also a Spartan 300 uh, bipod, which again goes in this little short rail at the front, which is quite nice. This Spartan just comes straight off, as we know, like that, and goes back on again. So it's not a bad addition to the rifle. The barrel is not solid as it appears. It's basically, uh, there's a rifled liner inside. This is just now for steel tube to make up the, the apparent width. The muzzle brake keeps it all together. You can get moderators for these. This comes off and you get an adapter, but it's not the sort of gun you want to put a moderator on. It's not a rabbit gun. It's a gun for having fun with an action shooting on the range. Um, apart from that, it's a very, very sort of standard um, 2-2 semi-auto blowback. Feed is from a 22 round magazine. You can get 24 in it, but I found best to keep it at 22 because it's um, it can be a little bit fussy on, on the first two rounds, so keep it 22. The nice thing, like the Smith & Wesson and a few other rifles like the um, GSG guns, it pull down tabs on the side of the magazine. So unlike the shove rounds in a black dog mag against a spring, just pull the spring down, drop the rounds in, and also easier to position the rounds for shooting. I've been running it on Winchester M22, which is a, one, which is a 40 grain bullet, doing about 1,250 feet per second average. Um, 50 yards, you're shooting about one inch groups. It'll bounce out to 100 quite nicely. Um, but as I said, it's more of an action type rifle than anything else. I had a couple of feet problems with it this morning, uh, and I think the magazine was a bit dry, and I just gave it a bit of a clean up. Um, tiny little squirt of oil just to kick it run, and it's been feeding the whole mag without even trying, like a Smith & Wesson. So I think it's just a little tiny issue with this. Perhaps this is one mag, so you can't really, you can't really blame a design for one for one magazine. Uh, the thing against it compared to a Smith and Wesson and other AR-15 based guns is that um, on a Smith you pull out a pin, the actual hinge is open, you just pull the bolt out. On this gun the bolt sits in a, a cage as such which is inside the receiver and that screw there and that screw the, the other side they retain it so if you want to strip the gun out you have to say fold the butt up then you undo the, the screws 
and the back comes out, you pull it out, and it's a little bit more involved than cleaning a, a, a Smith & Wesson as such, but that's really down, down to you, whether or not that, that suits you or not. But it's, it's been okay. Um, can't really complain about it. Um, you know, and it's the sort of gun, I'm not quite sure the price, but I don't suppose it's mega expensive, maybe about between four and five, which is probably about what you might be paying um, for a Smith a couple of three years ago. But it shoots. It's people that want a military look-alike T2 high cap semi, which is a lot of fun, I've got to say. I, I've got two. Uh, and they're accurate enough for action, but sometimes it's just nice to have a good play with semi-auto. Uh, center uh, rimfire. On top, which we'll look at in, in greater detail in another video this, this month, we have the new Konus AS34 2-6x28. It's an all singing, all dancing, practical tactical scope. And it suits the look of the rifle on AR-15 very much. And it, it's not bad. But, yeah, all in all, uh, compared to the first model I say I tested five or six years ago, wherever it was, this is much more reliable, most definitely, um, the, and, and which is what it's all about, the 227. You need to be able to get two, 300 rounds out of the gun with good reliability, uh, obviously ammo accepting, because sometimes 227 ammo... It's made in its millions, and quite often you, you get rounds that either overpowered or underpowered, which cause the stoppages. But if you want something visually different, because the scar is quite different to the to the sort of the clutch of guns that we, we, we usually use, then this is not bad to look at. So we'll just pop a few rounds through it. Safety, safety, safety. It's just a matter of as you can see the automatic last round hold bolt and comes in drop it like that and it's closed but that's the uh, modern sporting rifle mark 22 um, not bad